problem. It very, so, and by the way, it will not be this kind to you on the exam. You will have to be able to recognize these problems. But this one says heat exchange between two materials. And um, at least I don't think it will anyway. Uh, so whenever you have two materials, you take, and uh, this is actually closely related to one we did on the homework. Um, it says if 50 grams of ethanol initially at 7 degrees Celsius is mixed with 50 milliliters of water initially at 28.4 degrees Celsius in a perfectly insulated beaker. No heat is exchanged with the surroundings or the beaker. What is the final temperature of the mixture? The specific heat capacity of ethanol is 2.42 joules per gram degree Celsius. If you remember back to the homework, we had a problem where Q of ethanol was equal to minus Q of water, and that's going to be exactly what this one's like. Now, we have an initial temperature of our ethanol, which means the ethanol is going to be changing temperatures. We have initial temperature of our water, which means the water is going to be changing temperatures. And there's no balanced reaction. So all of those things combine to tell us that there can be no Q reaction term in this problem. Now, um, but to fill things in, so each of these is going to be a mass times a specific heat capacity times a temperature change equals minus mass specific heat temperature change. And because of, without the subscripts, it's Q equals M cat almost where it's M times C times delta T. It almost looks like Q M cat. And that's a convenient acronym to remember. But this is with all the subscripts in it. Um, now we can go ahead and fill everything in. We do have 50 grams of ethanol and 50.0 grams. We do have the specific heat capacity of ethanol And while we do have the initial temperature of ethanol, we are solving for the final temp. So T final of ethanol minus seven degrees. Now we have the mass of the water. Well, we have the milliliters of water, one thing that we've seen a couple times before is that milliliters of water are equal to grams of water. We have used the specific heat capacity of water before. If we don't remember it, it is 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. And our water final temperature minus 28.4 is the last term. Now I can't remember, uh, actually, so the only thing we don't know is T final. And T final for ethanol is equal to T final for our water. And so you just might want to call them both T sub final, T sub L. Now, if you rearrange this, do you get my answer? Because I think if I remember, my answer may be a little off for this one. So can somebody tell me what they actually get for T sub final once they get, once they get it? I know it's a lot of math, so I'll wait. 20.6. I know, so I think I messed something up here because Another student told me that they got 20.6 as well. Twenty point six. Yeah, good. Well, so I apologize for that mistake too. However, uh, it is 
and I'll fix that later today as well. Uh, I will remind you that your final temperature must be between your two initial temperatures because one is cooling down and one is heating up and they end up between it. Uh, and if you forget this minus sign, you can get a number that's uh, above 28 or below 7. So just be careful of that. 